Ninji Ian ally won't back down. Oh, look who it is. In her like, I think that what she's saying would be more valid if... It would be more valid if Doki Bird was the one that leaked that she got harassed. But because Nija Sanji was the one that leaked it, then it totally goes out the window that Doki Bird has any sort of responsibility to justify these claims because she never made them in a public setting. That's insane. And now many wondering, is this the beginning? Many viewers speculating if the Niji I love the way he's saying that. It just sounded like such a traditional, like, uh, like CNN or like Fox News anchor. Like, listen to it again. And now many wondering, is this the beginning? Many viewers speculating- That was really good. If the Niji Sanji livers still remaining with the agency are speaking with their outside of agency influencer friends to speak on their behalf. And if we- Well, they're not, they're not talking, like they're not telling Daft to talk on their behalf. I don't think, I think that's crazy. There's no way they'd be doing that. I mean, like there's a chance, right? I just don't think it's very high chance. Uh, I just think that, but they are talking about it. I mean, of course people talk, but people talk about like, I mean, I've been a streamer now for like what fucking like seven or eight years people talk about this shit all the time privately it's like oh it's a private matter no it's not like the moment that you talk to somebody in real life about this they'll tell you all about it i even see a graduated liver speak more directly on the subject that as daff and kyo kaneko have been friends before kyo was even with niji sanji english this liver tweeting out earlier this morning i can't believe it's today as he is now graduating and leaving the organization while in Good response to yesterday's <laughs> video daff has now doubled down for speaking for on the legalities around doki bird and once again taking to her chat to say what again? happened oh my god Peak journalism, speculating in offline chat. Though I will say, what exactly was a bad question I asked? Regarding the situation, am I wrong for assuming if you sue for harassment, you need to name them for the case and have the burden of proof to support said case? Therefore, I can assume multiple people were named because three people volunteered, implying there's more. Because if well, you it doesn't imply that there's more, it just means that three people volunteered. But there's a chance that there's more? Sure to sue for harassment you already built a case and have documented proof of this exact harassment from specific people in the tweets niji so because if you want to sue harassment you already built a case well what is this like I what? And have documented proof of this exact harassment from specific people. In the tweets, Niji said, they said respective documents shown to relevant people, then three people volunteered, said they disagreed with the contents of those documents, leading me to assume each person got different documents. Because... If you show unrelated people other documents, that is breaching privacy. Not sure what the word to use here is. So if they showed specific people specific documents, I can fairly assume people got different documents. This referencing before- Uh, I don't know. Like, what I assumed is that she was suing Nija Sanji and naming them in the lawsuit of the ones that were harassing her. So, like, the information in the lawsuit was made available to them. That's what I think was happening. Because, like, you would be... So, like, it's not like she's filing three separate lawsuits, right? It's that she's filing a lawsuit on Nija Sanji and then naming these people as instances of harassing her. There is no lawsuit. Okay. It's an HR complaint. From where Daff had said well, either way, like the HR complaint would probably be levied. It would be levered at the company itself. And so whether the company showed the other people the other instances or not, or they shared them with each other, I mean, who knows? From Niji's tweet, you can infer these people all had their specific documents individually sent to them. This once again being an assumption on Daft's part. And again, that action being entirely against the request of Doki Birds, who wish for these documents only to be seen by the legal team of Niji Sanji. Daft then saying, I don't know, it's a legal court case, no? That's a bit more graduated than drama. That referencing back to when Daft said, because I genuinely also don't understand, how can you file a court case and say you want to move on as if it's not on going i'm sorry girly that's not how legal matters work you can't decide on a whim when you want it to be convenient once again at this time it is not clear if a court case yeah i always thought that was pretty stupid to say because the reality is that she didn't make it public she didn't want to have it exist in the public eye 
it's very obvious that she might want to have a resolution that happens privately or legally without having this entirely blown up in in, in the real world, right? Or in, in, in like the public space. Like, obviously. Has been filed at all. Or if this is simply the legal teams of Doki Bird and Niji Sanji speaking with one another and now further being shared against Doki Bird's request mm-hmm. to the actual livers. Daft continuing on. It also is mentioned in the Niji Sanji tweets, livers were involved in this harassment. That is the actual statement from Niji Sanji. Reads, despite our efforts, the Lantatsuki demanded that any color should be held legally responsible. This not stating that actual legal proceedings have gone forward as Doki Bird herself has also not stated that legal proceedings have gone forward. But so so then I was right. It's that she's holding them responsible for the harassment, but the harassment was done through different individuals. So it's not like she has a lawsuit against the individual YouTubers or livers. She has a lawsuit against the company potentially or a complaint or a legal document, whatever you want to call it. And these people are named in the document. It's a massive difference. So if the document was shared, assuming the entire thing was shared with all the people, they would get all the information because the entire document would probably be shared. Or not. We don't know. Forward. Lawyers involved. Daft then linking out to another tweet. This being the much mm-hmm. maligned Niji Sanji English tweet stating that Niji Sanji hereby declares that it has not made any confidentiality violations. In general, why are people mad that I'm questioning stuff being weird? If she's suing, I guess she's not suing then. What about that video though? I didn't watch it. And continuing. Well, that, that explains a lot. I mean, <laughs> Well, <laughs> guys, I think we figured out what happened. I think we, I think we got it. We got down to the bottom of this little situation. Well, I didn't watch. I mean, I didn't, I didn't watch the video, right? I'm just talking about it. So people witch on livers and ninja, it's okay, even if they don't have proof or anything. You know, yeah, I don't think anybody agrees with that. Like, yeah, I mean, that, that's obviously a bad thing. Like, for sure, but, like, there would have never been a witch hunt if it wasn't for Ninja Sanji putting this out in the public. So, like, how are you going to blame Doki Bird whenever she was the one that didn't even say anything about it? Like, like you want to blame somebody for getting the witch hunt? Like, blame the company that made it public. I mean, what the fuck? What does it have to do with her? She wants to file a private complaint, like a legal complaint against the company, and somehow it's her fault for filing the complaint, and it's not the company's fault for publicly, like, stating the complaint and saying that different people were named. They didn't, they, they, like, they could have explained this in 15 different ways. They could have said that she had problems with Ninja Sanji uh, employees. They could have said that she had problems with people associated with Ninja Sanji. They didn't need to say that she had problems with Ninja Sanji at Livers. They didn't need to say that even if they wanted to state that they had a, a pro- that she had a problem with them. They made this entire problem on their own. They invented this problem. There was no problem until they published it. Why is there any burden of, of accountability on her? She didn't even do it. Jesus. So when people witch hunt livers and Niji, it's okay, even if they don't have proof or know anything yet. But when I ask some questions about the legal stuff, it's all hell is loose. Me just speculating with y'all and here with maybe 10 people at most, then blowing it up to thousands, I don't know if that's going to have the effect they want. I don't know, it's kind of effed for the livers. It's been a free-for-all for people to witch well, hunt. Well, then the- you should be mad at Niji Sanji for going and putting a post out. What the fuck are you talking about? You're going to go and get mad at Doki? bird for this anybody can file an hr complaint for any fucking reason so like it's not it's not her fault for that like if she felt like she was being harassed it's her responsibility now if she had been the one that published it and she had said i've been you know abused by a lot of them i don't want to say who it is then this might have some credibility but if and i agree the thing is like i agree with death i think it is fucked up that's why I think Nija Sanji is wrong. It's because they did it. They invented this problem.
Oh, uh, my God. This once again, after Niji Sanji themselves yes. initiated the subject of harassment, stating claims of Selene that she herself had not made public yet, such as this one, that she was being harassed by other affiliated livers due to mismanagement. That once again, not being firstly revealed by Selene slash Doki Bird, but instead by Niji Sanji English themselves. This particular approach by Niji Sanji receiving lots of criticism, with many viewers saying that it simply painted a target on every liver's back. Daf it absolutely did. Gone, and no one's really bothering with asking for proof for them just speculating like me. But when I... Well, I mean, clearly Nijisanji thinks that it's legitimate. That's why they posted about it. And also, people are asking for proof, so let's use a little bit of logic here. The harassment was documented, and it was noted in a legal document that was then sent to Nija Sanji, that Nija Sanji then shared with the different people who were named in the document. So that means that Nija Sanji, Doki Bird, and all of the people that were named in the document all know the exact things that were considered harassment. Nija Sanji isn't publishing it, and neither are the other people that are named. So I think you can use this logic just as much for them as you can for her. I do it. Oh, shit. But it's fair that those documents don't need to be made public, but they definitely were rightfully shared with the involved individuals. Because again, if you are claiming a company wronged you or harassed, you have to have specific interactions with specific people as proof. So that being shared within the involved parties is just part of the legal process. Daff here once again insisting that the livers absolutely must see the documents, despite at this time no legal proceedings of any kind involving them on an individual basis. Daff Further continuing, well, as far as we know, Niji got papers sent by lawyers, so what that mean? Mother effer, I don't know why private info would be in those papers. I think people are backtracking the no. Oh, they could have they could have censored the info. They could have just blacked it out. You think it private info is the reason why they're not sharing it? What a bunch of bully, you fucking stupid? Who the fuck believes that? You just put a black bar over it. Like, what are we even talking about here? Now, to be fair, that didn't work for Sony. But, you know, in every other circumstance, it usually does. So, no, you're not going to be able to use the excuse that, oh, well, you know, there's private information. Just black it out. Just redact it thing by saying it's an HR complaint and not an actual lawsuit because it dismisses all my questions. Why would we not reasonably assume it's a lawsuit from every context given? The reason we'd assume those documents contain proof of harassment is because those three livers went live disagreeing. And the whole base of it is very much appears to be suing for harassment slash unfair treatment. I don't know, it seems like people are saying it's not a lawsuit after all because it voids all the questions I had. Yeah, but they're not showing any of the things that were named as harassment either. And so like if it was me and somebody said I harassed them and I thought that I didn't, I would either not talk about it at all because that's what a lawyer would tell me to do, or I would publish what they said was harassment and let the public decide. That's what I would do. If I genuinely thought that I didn't harass somebody, I would publish it myself because they know what it is and also they have every right to publish it because it was their conversation. Staff's original questions and stance, once again, referencing back, stating, I genuinely also don't understand how can you file a court case and oh say you want to move on as if it's not ongoing. Staff herself with no knowledge if there is an ongoing court case and simply assuming. Staff further confirming that, saying, because I'm assuming it's a lawsuit, all my other assumptions are based off that, so why get mad at me? I'm just assuming too, LOL. I didn't even say anything mean. It's literally just about the lawsuits. Daff earlier when talking about the situation with Doki Bird saying basically someone's lying along with again I don't think she thought those individuals would be sent their respective documents which is really dumb and later saying she kind of publicly slandered and caused a witch hunt and I when did she mind control the people at Nijisanji and tell them to publish a document saying that she got harassed did she tell them to go live and to say that that wasn't what happened why, why would they do that but what like that's not it doesn't even make sense 
witch hunt. And I'm really riled up that you can basically slander a group of people, I don't give an F about the corpa, withhold proof that you had to gather for your case, and just say you want to move on. Once again- Well, she didn't slander them. Th she didn't. Like, she just simply confirmed something that the other group, like, that group were the ones that made it public. How is it slander when they literally own goal themselves? Move on. Once again, Daff later saying, I didn't even say anything mean. Daff further saying, at the end of the day, I'm just speculating like everyone else. But I felt like I had pretty reasonable questions and hypotheticals, so I don't know why people are so upset. Whatever, man, I said- I think people are upset because they think that she has a personal relationship with the people that are at the company. And so she's defending the company because she has a relationship with those people. Uh, that's the reason why. It's pretty obvious. Uh, I don't know why anybody would pretend like that's not the case. And also, like, I'm not saying that she is or that she is, but it's like, like, w what are we talking about? Like, oh, I don't know why this is happening. Of course you know why it's happening. Like, what? Like, what the, do you think we're fucking stupid? That's obvious why people are... are are upset that she said this. It's because she has a prior relationship with them and she's going against something that is is like, it seems like this is not what happened. What I had to say anyways, and it did kind of pick my brain. People are free to speculate. Me being friends with Niji Livers means jack shit in the court of law. I yeah, it but it means that, uh, it means a lot in, in real life, doesn't it? Because, like, if somebody accuses your friend of something and you have a deeper understanding of it, then you're going to have a different perspective. But it's like, and, and also, like, she could be right. I mean, I don't think that she is. I, I just, I, I don't think so. We'll see what happens. But, like, some of these things she could be right about. But the truth is that, obviously, if you're friends with the people, it obviously matters. And if you want to talk about meaning jack shit in the court of law, it absolutely would matter in the court of law. Like, for example, if you have like a, uh, you know, like it's like a judge doesn't proceed over a trial that they have like a conflict of interest in. So like if a judge has like an ownership of a company, well, they're not going to proceed over a trial for that company. Because it's a conflict of interest. So it's like actually even in the court of law, it 100% matters because everybody knows that people are going to have a bias. Like, it, I, I don't know why everybody always tries so hard to pretend like they don't have biases. Whenever what you should say is, I do have a bias. This is my perspective. And this is my argument rather than trying to paint yourself out like a neutral party. Like, I think that's the issue, is like you're painting yourself as a neutral party, you're not. It goes to court. The only thing I'm guilty of is yapping and speculating like literally everyone else. But for some reason, questioning the legality and sense of the suing is really frowned upon. Now, further stating, I don't know, dude, I literally said in those logs, I don't discredit how she felt. But if you're accusing people of harassment and have burden of proof for suing, you better make sure it's solid. And given... Well, what's she supposed to do? Like, is she supposed to, like, publish everything? Like, is she supposed to, like, why would why would she publish all of the documents and proof randomly for people on the internet that already think that she's a liar? This is the reality, right? Is that most people on the internet make up their opinion on things and they're not going to change their opinion even if they get provided with evidence that proves their opinion wrong because nobody has any accountability to be like oh i was wrong about this never mind i'll change my mind no that's just not what it was uh people will still keep thinking the same stupid thing that they've always thought and that's it so why would she publish this information and, you know, potentially compromise any sort of legal case that she could or not have, she could have or could not have, it, it, just to make who happy? Like, people that are friends with the company's employees to try to win them over? Like, why? who the fuck would do that? Who cares? 
Who cares what Daft's opinion is? It doesn't matter. And for that matter, it doesn't matter what my opinion is. So why is she going to go and publish this information for no reason? Especially whenever she wasn't even the one that brought it up. And three people already disagreed. Oops. Good luck with the case. But it'd be shown in court and up for debate. And consider they'd volunteered. I don't know. I don't think you'd want to volunteer unless you strongly disagree. But then I disagree. The narrative is that they were forced to. Of course it is. Because Nija Sanji owns their, uh, their IP. Nija Sanji, for all intents and purposes, owns them. Like, Oaria Pandora is not a person. It is an asset owned by Nija Sanji. Do you really think that it's all a coincidence that all of the other livers on Nija Sanji just happened to retweet this one post? You really think that this wasn't a coordinated effort? Holy fuck. Like, they all retweeted this and, like, you know, quote retweeted and replied with it? Like, what the fuck? How could you possibly expect that? A hundred percent they were working together. And of course they're working together. Why wouldn't they be working together? It's common sense to work together. And yes, they probably were maybe not necessarily. And there's like such a big spectrum of how do you get a person to do something? Well, you can um, you can force them to do it. You can uh, compel them to do it. You can provide a reward for doing it. You can provide an incentive for doing it. You can provide an opportunity for doing it. There are so many different opportunities and ways, and you can manipulate them into doing it. There are so, You can blackmail them into doing it. True. There are so many different ways that you can make a person do something. Do I logically think that the company that threw its own employees under the bus to try to separate itself from the problem and then had everybody uh, uh, like and I uh, if anybody actually thinks that this was not a coordinated effort by the company when every single person basically on that entire fucking roster retweeted it. If anybody thinks that this wasn't a coordinated effort, I am just not interested in trying to convince them anymore because I, I'm not going to reason a person out of a position they didn't reason themselves into. It's obvious. It's totally obvious. If you think it's not obvious, you are a fucking moron. So if you assume all of that, and then you think that having them go on stream and talk about it is too far? Like publishing this girl's legal documents, embarrassing her, putting her on the spot, publicly condemning her, and then making everybody support at least the live stream of people going live to shit talk her. All of these things happened pretty much for fucking sure, right? But them being compelled to do the stream is over the line? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, come on. How can you possibly... It's crazy. Again, the narrative is they were forced to. And, okay, wait, no one last thing. If I'm right, I get to say I told you so. Bye-bye. Once again, those being the words of Daff at 39 Daff, longtime friend of Kyo Kaneko of Nijisanji English, yep. who is now graduating from the agency today. And now, speaking of Doki Bird, this VTuber is... Yeah, it's pretty fucking stupid. I mean, I don't know why she would say that. And this is the thing, right? Is there's, like, a lot of cases where... Like, I, I've known cases like this where the public opinion of something is inaccurate. And if people really knew what happened behind closed doors for like whatever, everybody would have a different perspective on it. But you can't act as if everybody should listen to your perspective whenever you don't provide the evidence or the receipts. Like, I'm not going to trust what she's saying. That's crazy. Why would I possibly think that? Because, yeah, there's a very good chance that she talked to, like, this other person that she's good friends with. And maybe they do think that uh, Doki Bird is a liar. But, no, you're not going to just get me to, like, get anybody, I think, to just, oh, yeah, no, now we agree with this. Oh, now we, uh, <laughs> now we think that you're right because you said that you're right. No, I don't think so. You would have just said something without concrete evidence. Um, what, what did I say without concrete evidence? I, I'm curious, like what, what, what did I say about everybody being forced to put out the same type of message? So what do you think the odds are that I was right? 
Like, if you had to put a percentage chance that it was a coordinated attempt by the company to boost the message, what would you say the odds are? Like a 10%, 50%, 80%? Like what, where would, where, what, what would the number be that you think? I think the odds are higher than you're right, than you're wrong. But what if you're wrong though? I'd put it at 80%. So you think that there's a 20% chance that every single person in the EN branch of Nija Sanji, except for, I think one person all collectively retweeted the exact same stream at the exact same time. You think there's a 20% chance that was random. I want you to, in the, within the same hour, I, I want you to tell me that there's a 20% chance that's random. It's 30% now? I don't know an exact chance. I'm just saying it's not concrete. I know it's not concrete, but like, what would be the chance that you had to, what, like, what's, what percentage though, if you had to put a number on it? Because you already said, he already said 80%. Yeah, but he didn't say 80%. Because if he thought 80%, he would have said that it's 20%. But because I explained it in a way that would make him feel ridiculous for saying that there's a 20% chance that that many stars aligned at the same time, he's walking back his statement and he's going into, you know, some sort of like amorphous, you can't pin me down. Oh, there's nothing that's concrete. Uh-uh. No. I know exactly what you're doing. 80% you're right. 20% you're wrong. This is also something easily proven in court. No, it's not. Why would why would they why would they document a call like this? Why would they do that? Why would they document a call like this? There's that that's insane. You know, jury, there's no beyond reasonable doubt for your opinion. You're going uh, to go with what's likely the case and assume that's correct. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That's a hundred percent what I'm going to believe. I think that if you if you genuinely believe that that there is a twenty percent chance that this was all random you have completely diverged from reality and you are actively promoting something that makes no sense. I have no problem having a conversation with a person who's trying to talk about it in good faith. But to make a good faith assertion that there is a 20% chance that every single person that is involved with this situation just happened to do this at the same time, no, I don't believe it. I think that's insane. And I think anybody, any reasonable person would assume that that's insane. Beyond reasonable doubts, only for major cases, preponderance of evidence is what's used in a civil case like this. That's actually a very good point, uh, Captain, and I, I think you're, you're totally right. And so this is actually an instance that a lot of people need to realize, is that, yes, in a civil case, you only need to have it is more likely than not. And even in somebody who is disagreeing with me, even says it is more likely than not at 80 percent so yes you're totally right so uh i'm not going to go through the whole video i think that was the only thing i was i was interested in looking in but uh yes that is true i mean i'll be real i think that if they actually thought that they could you know like disprove this girl and like what she was saying they would put the evidence out there but they're not doing it the same as she isn't 